Yo, what's good, y'all? We back with another Roblox Studio tutorial. Today, I'm gonna show y'all how to make a simple little leaderboard, just so it shows like it organizes their usernames, not in a GUI. It just organizes their names under players or people, and then you can also add like a value, like cash, or, like the amount of money you, each player would have. So yeah, let's get straight into it. So we're back in the base place. So what you guys want to do is do not put the script inside server script service or storage, etc. You want to put the script into workspace. So you want to click the plus sign script. Then you want to do game dot players dot player added connect function players. And basically what this is doing is telling the game, telling the script basically whenever a player joins the game that connects the function of players basically so players is whenever a, a player joins the game so then inside we want to put we to create a variable local leaderboard leaderboard is of course where like the players names are going to be at so we do local leaderboard equals instance dot new as you know it's just that news when you create it, creating something like putting something in the game once it starts so and since that new, they want to do bool value as that's the part where it's like on the top left of the leaderboard and stuff. You guys will understand what I'm talking about. I want to click play to test it. Then we want to do comma and then players. The reason we do comma and then players is because you're creating a bool value, but then it's data inside of it, so it actually shows something. So you'll be creating a bool value, and then the, the data that will go inside it is players, which basically will be putting the players' usernames. And then you need to do leaderboard dot name and then you need to make it a name one one little tip though this name like the name cannot match the name of the variable like if this is leaderboard this can't be named leaderboard or else it literally won't work so you'd have to change this so you could just do that leaderboard and then that leader stats or vice versa or whatever works for you but they just can't be the same then we're going to create another variable local cache equals instance new because we're putting something into the game and this time we're gonna do int value which is putting something on the right side of of the leaderboard and then and then we're gonna put leaderboard because as this is something that's a part of the leaderboard is going in the leaderboard like we're gonna use data from the leaderboard if that makes sense like I said you guys understand more of this when we just play and test it then you and then for this you want to do cash that name once again it will not work if you use the exact same thing so you can do like you could do you can name your variable cash the name the name it money or currency or whatever like I said whatever works for you but the variable and then the name can't be the same and then you also have to you also have to define the value basically that it's literally is just the starting the starting amount for each player as soon as they as soon as they join the game so obviously you want to set it to zero unless Unless you want people in your game when they first join to start out with a certain amount of money, if you want them set over like a hundred, you just change that value to one hundred depending on what you wanted. Yeah, let's play and let's test. As you guys can see, in the top right it says people, it says people, my username, and then money, and then how much money I have. Stuff like I said, um, what's it called? You guys could also you could use my last tutorial which was on teams you could try to combine the scripts with like teams and the leaderboards so you could like have them like match it out they usually they usually like use a team script along with a leaderboard to really they really use those for obvious you know for the different stages and stuff and i can show you guys how to set that up if you guys want that and stuff but yeah because if i was to like i said if i was to set this to 100 and then click play i will start out with 100, 100 money basically or actually if you wanted to you could do 100 and then we could have a dollar sign oh or wait oh no you can't have those but you guys get you guys get the gist of that though but yeah though that's how you set up a uh, basic leaderboard and stuff where it has the name and stuff uh, just like always, if you guys have any questions, just leave it down in the comment section. I'll respond. Try to help you to my best, to the best ability I can. 
if you guys have any more tutorials on Roblox Studio and stuff, we can be other stuff too, like building and stuff, animating, kind of animating and stuff. Just let me know. All right, I'll see y'all.